creating a customer retargeting campaign on YouTube. All right, folks, we're nearing the end of this journey, so we've saved a big strategy for last. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to retarget potential customers that have interacted with your videos and your channel on YouTube. Getting started. You can create a customer retargeting campaign on YouTube by adding viewers that have shown interest in your product and sales videos to a retargeting list. This way, you can retarget them with more content from your channel until they convert. For this, start on your Google Ads dashboard, and from there, click on the Tools and Settings option in the top bar menu. Then click on the Audience Manager option. Creating the retargeting list and launching the campaign. This will take you to the remarketing section of the Audience Manager, where you can create your retargeting list. Start by clicking on the plus icon. Next, click on the YouTube Users option from the display menu. Now you can start setting up the list. First, enter the name of your new list into the Audience Name field. Now click on the List Members menu button. Here you can select which users to retarget according to how they interact with your videos or your channel. You can retarget people that viewed any or certain videos from your channel, people who viewed any or certain videos as ads, people who subscribed or visited your channel page, people who have liked your videos, people who have added videos from your channel to a playlist, and people who have shared a video from your channel. The best strategy here is to select viewed any video as an ad from a channel. This retargeting strategy allows you to retarget viewers who have completed viewing one of your video ads. This is a signal of interest and sometimes a purchasing intent. So retargeting these viewers will lead to a conversion after five or more retargeted videos. Next, click on the YouTube channel menu button and select your YouTube business channel from the list. The default pre-fill options and membership duration settings are optimal, so you can skip these settings for now. Our recommendation is for you to track the behavior of YouTube leads to reconfigure these settings later on. For example, if you find the majority of your leads convert after 15 days, then you can set your membership duration at 15 days, but you have to do this after several days of running your retargeting campaign. And now that you are done customizing the retargeting list, click on the Create button. And that's it! Now YouTube will add viewers that match your retargeting criteria to this list, and will show them more of your content to increase your sales.